In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my honest thoughts on the Explode the Code curriculum. I've been getting a lot of questions regarding Explode the Code, so I wanted to come on here and share with you guys my thoughts, what I think about it, and show you a bit of the pages inside the curriculum. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. My name is Regina, Gina for short, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm a homeschool mom of three kids, and on my channel, I share homeschool content, of course, but also motherhood, lifestyle, and anything in between. So if you like that type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I think about the Explode the Code. I wanna show you a bit of the pages inside the Explode the Code. So if you're thinking of using this curriculum, you can kind of get an idea of how it looks like and if it's a good fit for your homeschool and your family. Explode the Code is a fantastic homeschool phonics series for young children. It's a program that builds essential literacy skills through direct systematic phonics instruction. It teaches students the skills they need to read words, phrases, sentences, and stories on their own. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the flip through. So here are the levels that I have for Explode the Code. I have Get Ready for the Code, A, and this one is a primer for the Explode the Code series. So it's more for preschoolers, kindergartners, even grade one, uh, just depending on what level your child is at. So I would definitely recommend looking into uh, the A, B, C, D. They have a, B, and C. I'm not sure if they have more now, but when I bought this one, they had A, B, and C. And this is for more preschool. They have Explode the Code 2, 3, 4, and these are the ones that I have. They have Explode the Code from 1 to 8. So they do have levels in between. So over here, you see that they have Explode the Code 1, 1 and a half two, two and a half, three, and so on and so forth. In the back of the book, it'll tell you a little bit about the concepts that each of the books will focus on. If you wanna take a screenshot, but also I'll try to link down below to see if there is um, a website you can go to so you can take a look at each of the levels yourself. But let me show you a little bit of how Explode the Code looks like inside. So here is Get Ready for the Code A. And mind you, I have not used this one yet. So this is this one I'm going to use with my preschooler and I haven't used it yet. And the reason why is I feel like my son isn't ready for it yet. And we have other things, but I am going to incorporate this one once my son gets into a level K or kindergarten level. He right now is doing preschool. He could do some of the activities here, but I am going to wait a little bit. So for get ready for the code A, we are focusing on consonants B, F, M, K, R, and T. So that's what you're gonna be focusing on this book over here. And I'll show you a couple of the pages. What you'll notice with Explode the Code in all of the Explode the Codes is the lack of color. It is very black and white. Okay, so there's not gonna be a lot of color, but that might be good for you because maybe your child is very easily distracted. So that's something to take note of. Um, and for me, that's, that's actually great because at least my kid will not get distracted because it's very easy for your child to get distracted when there is a lot of color. So um, over here, it's very simple. The first page is just circling what is different, but there are different skills that you're going to be working on and different concepts as well. Okay, so over here, you're getting familiar with the letter, right? They're talking about the letter F. You'll see here, it says, follow the path uh, from the F to the picture whose name begins with F. Say the sound, try not to cross the line. So even working on pencil control, right? And, you know, grasping a pencil and that control, motor skills, right? Same thing here is more circling. So here it's circle the F. Over here is say the name of the picture. Now say the sound that comes at the beginning of, I guess fish, it shows the fish. Uh, color only the sections with the letter F or F. So lowercase F and uppercase F. It'll have little prompts here for the teacher. Um, so read the directions aloud while the students listen and work on page seven. Okay, so there is 
a bit of teacher instruction. It says here, listen and follow the directions, right? So there's going to be directions that you have to tell the child. So more of, you know, practicing the letter formations, right? Uh, with a pencil, uh, you could do it with your hand as well if your child is not ready to use a pencil yet. I do that a lot with Michael. More circling. Actually, you know what, now looking at this, Michael might be ready for this. Um, so you'll see here, there's a lot of different activities. See here, write the letter. Hmm, Michael might be, this is focusing on F. Hmm, interesting, this, this might be, and I'll B, letter B. Letter B is a hard one for kids in general. So um, this is nice to see it here, um, a lot of focus on on like one particular letter. And the, the, the activities will be pretty similar throughout. Once you start one con like one letter, it'll be you'll see like it's very similar throughout. Maybe there'll be a little bit of a different activities, but it's very familiar. You'll see that the pages and activities are the same. The child will become familiar with the with the activities, which is nice. So here's just a little bit of what you can see with explode the code A. I think this is really great. I think it's going to be a really good add-on to our homeschool. And you know what? I might wait. I have so much stuff that I I can do with Michael when it comes to preschool. So I'm probably going to add this for extra practice. Uh, in the next year, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna add any more stuff to us. But you can see it; it's pretty. I think it's really nice. I think it's a good, it's a good curriculum. And that's how I'm gonna show you guys for now. So you can kind of see how Get Ready for the Code A looks like. And this is a second edition. I'm not sure if they had a first edition before. I don't know how that looked like, but I've only tried the second edition. Okay, Explode the Code Two. This is the one we're working on right now. Okay, so last year we look, worked on three, and I'll, let me explain to you. We did the good, the good and the beautiful level one, and what I tried to do is I tried to match the concepts that Nicholas was learning in his level one, and I found that it was really matching up to three. So I thought, okay, you know what? Whenever Nicholas is learning about a concept in his language arts level one, I will match the activities in here. Sounds really easy, but guys, it was just too much work. <laughs> If I could go back in time, I would have started from one, even if it was easy for him, and then I would I would go in order. That's how I would personally do it because we started using uh, Explode the Code when Nicholas was six. So he was in grade one, or he was doing level one, and he would be in grade one if he was in public school when we started. He's in second grade, he's going into the third grade uh, in September in the fall. We start school in September here in Canada. Okay, let's look at, um, Explode the code two essential lessons for phonics mastery. That's what it says here. And over here with explode the code, it'll have the contents of things that you're going to be working on. So here we're, uh, we're working a lot on initial consonant blends and you're going to see here final consonant blends as well. And it'll list all of them that, uh, the level two will be working on. So, You'll see here there's 11 lessons and same thing here, you're gonna notice. So I'm just gonna, if you want to take like a screenshot, you know, a picture of this, you can see what is in the contents because someone actually asked me, uh, Gina, like what are the concepts with each level? So you can kind of take a look over here. And same thing guys, very black and white. Uh, every lesson has a good amount of pages. And what I would do is because Nicholas does this independently and what we usually do is Nicholas works on explode the code three to five days a week. He'll take it out independently. I'll put it on the counter for him upstairs or in our homeschool space. And he knows that he has to do this. And the reason why we do it three to five times uh, a week is because it just depends on, you know, what we're doing that week in the sense of what are the concepts that we're learning in language arts and math? Is it a heavy kind of topic in the sense of like, difficult and maybe adding explode the code will just be too much for that day. So we go based on that as well. And one of the questions I actually got from um, a, a mom, a couple of moms is that, do you need the teacher's manual? Because they do have a teacher's manual. 
I personally, I didn't need the teacher's manual, okay? Because this is not my core curriculum. I'm not using this as a core curriculum. I'm using this as an add-on. And I did not feel like I need the, the teacher's manual, but I would do your research and see if that would be a good fit for you and your situation. But I feel like Nicholas can grab this and he can know what to do. Because lots of the concepts that he's learning here, it's almost like review and extra practice. Now let's show you kind of how the lessons look like in one lesson. So you'll see there's a lot of circling. So here he's learning about initial consonant blends, okay? And he has to look at the picture and he has to circle the um, initial consonant blend. So for this is cr, 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 crayon. So he would circle it. Same thing with the pictures here. Anyways, you'll notice here is like you have to circle the same word. So kind of like identifying and looking at a word and you know, matching it. Uh, lots of like copying. He's working on his phonics. He's working on his writing skills. He's uh, working on his spelling, uh, his reading. So there's a lot of things that I feel like he is working on. Same here, just matching, right? The picture to the word. Over here, spell it, right? So they're gonna have a picture and this is dr, dr, eh, eh, s, s. So he has to circle. And it's nice because he's learning about those uh, initial consonant blends like dr, dr, gr, 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 gr. And I feel like this really has helped because sometimes when Nicholas was reading, he would tell me, oh, I learned this in Explode the Code. So I have seen an improvement um, and I've seen that this has been helping Nicholas with his reading, writing, spelling. So I like that. So there is also like reading comprehensions, yes or no questions. So I'll, I'll give you an example. Can a crab mop the hut? No, right? Will a clam nap in a crib? No. Can a glass crack? Yes. So they do have to know how to read if they're going to do explode the code too. Um, but yeah, Nicholas does this independently. For me, for explode the code to be something that is um, that is a good fit for our family is that this is because this is independent work. Now, if your child, maybe you're looking for something independent for your child, I would recommend this. Like he is learning a lot here. So same thing here, he has to read two sentences and then he has to uh, identify which sentence is true. And there's some really, really funny ones. They have sometimes some, some funny sentences like this one, the dog cuts the grass, the dog naps in the grass, okay? So he has to pick which one. I find Nicholas like laughing and chuckling sometimes at the, the sentences. So writing, so in, towards the end, he actually has to write the, um, the word. So he, he wouldn't look at the, you know, the previous lessons and he has to really like, okay, drum, dr, uh, uh, ma, ma. He has to put it together. So I really like that about Explode the Code. And it's same thing here, the lessons, um, the activities will be pretty similar. So your child will become familiar with how the activities look like and it'll become easy for them to do in the sense of understand what they have to do in each of the activities. So you'll see, it's very simple. Depending on like what what activity has to do, like the page of the activity, like this is easy, it's circling, right? So he'll do a couple of pages. When it's writing, more of like a writing activity, he will just do like one or two pages, depending on how he feels. So you'll see here, that's kind of how it's looking over here. We, Nicholas has pretty much finished this one. Let's see here, he's right here on this ending. So he has a couple of more pages left and then he's done. And originally I was going to start four because he already did three. I was gonna start four, but I'm actually gonna leave this for next year and give him a couple of other things that we're going to be adding. So he's almost finished this one, which is nice. So this is Explode the Code 3, and you'll see here the content contents of what we're going to be learning uh, in, in level three. So a little bit of it is one syllable words ending in a long vowel, including Y, silent E words, silent E with consonant blends, uh, diagraph, TH and WH. So you'll see here's a lot of different concepts and I'll leave it here so you can kind of take a look. And you'll notice the same thing here, very black and white. Uh, obviously the first lesson, like this is almost like a little bit of a review. Very black and white, like you can see. 
same type of concept with uh, uh, the number two, some different ones, like this one's a little bit different um, activity. Nicholas can read, so he can read what to do. And if he needs help, he can always ask, right? But this is very much independent work and review for him. And I have found Explode the Code very effective. And it's been a really nice add-on. And one of the questions I got asked is, why do you use Explode the Code if you're using language arts uh, from The Good and the Beautiful? Why would you add this? Like, and I just think that my son needs extra practice. So I felt like, you know, this is a really good add-on for Nicholas. And when I see there's a need for some extra practice, we can add a couple of different activities. And this will take Nicholas around 10 minutes to do. But it, those five to 10 minutes, don't underestimate those five to 10 minutes. They can be very, very educational. <laughs> and uh, we've been really liking this curriculum, to tell you the truth. The same thing, I really like these reading prompts here of yes or no questions. I just feel like I like that it's he's practicing his reading skills too. So there's like funny, sometimes there's some funny ones, like will a fish grab a whale? No, right? So he has to put that down. So I really like it. So you can kind of get a good look at how it looks like inside. Really awesome. Now let's go to the last one. Explode the code four. So you'll see that the concepts that he'll be learning in four will be a little bit more, you know, it, it, it'll be more advanced than what he was doing in three and two and the other ones. So lesson one, he's learning about compound words, common endings, F-U-L-I-N-G-E-S-T-E-E-D and N-E-S-S. So a lot of these things might be review, but it's good because Nicholas, he want, we want him to master these concepts. And I feel like this gives a really good practice. So you can kind of see here what they're going to be working on. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of syllable division. Guys, I feel like this is gonna be practice for me. The English language is an interesting one. We love compound words. Compound words, we already started learning about compound words as of the level one. And then we have like this book from the good and the beautiful and this game that has to do all with compound words. So Nicholas is really good at his compound words actually. Like that's one of his strong suits. Uh, when it comes to language arts. You'll see here that there'll, there'll be like a rule. Two little words put together make a compound world, word. Wind plus mill equals windmill. Circle the compound word that matches the picture. So that's nice, if this is gonna be fun. And then here, same thing, he's gonna be writing, um, um, putting the, um, the words together like drum and stick and writing it. Same thing here circle the read write and circle it super easy look read write circle it so the child can do it independently that's why i haven't felt a need for um for the teacher's manual to tell you the truth now here there's a little bit of reading and filling in the blanks which is nice same thing here reading the sentence and marking which one that uh, matches with the picture. Lesson two, sometimes an ending such as F-U-L-I-N-G-E-S-T-E-D and N-E-S is added to a word to make a new word, like jump in equals jumping. Draw a line between the word and its ending. So this is nice, kind of like breaking, you know, the word so they can recognize it, you know? Uh, and you'll see the activities are pretty similar, right? throughout and I like the fact that they're now putting in this uh, level four that they're putting the rule up top that's really nice um, maybe there wasn't much to say about it see because here oh actually okay no never mind they, they did it up to here see they would put it here th says th as in thumb yeah that's pretty much the same here ever used Explode the Code and you felt like you needed the teacher's manual, um, let me know down below. And I used, I got my Explode the Codes from christianbook.com. You can get it from Amazon like as a Canadian um, because Christian Book is an American site. But what I found is that sometimes it's cheaper to get it from Christian Book. Sometimes if you sign up for their email list, you'll get like discount codes, which is super nice. And I would recommend you, you know, waiting for a discount code before you get it from Christian Book. Look online to see where you can get it for cheaper. Open and close syllables. So 
into a little bit of a different activity here. Yeah. So um, before you buy the Expo the Code, research to see where it would be best for you to purchase it so you get more, you know, a more affordable price if, you know, you're on a budget. I'm always on a budget, so <laughs> I always try to look and see where it's going to be, you know, the cheapest for me if I were to uh, purchase it, uh, a curriculum. So. You can take a look online and see all of their series and see if it'll be a good fit for you. I forgot also to mention, in the end, they sometimes have little prompts like reviews of like uh, things that you can dictate to the child like for review. Um, so this is teacher dict dictated, see key for books one to five. So there is actually like some prompts in the back, just a couple of pages that tell you to use the teacher's manual. Now I can just, what I could do is I could just skip this part or I can just like do a sentence, dictate a sentence to Nicholas to do with these, with these, um, with the concepts that he's learned, right? So you can kind of make it your own without the teacher's manual. I don't feel like I needed it though. So that is it guys. That is my little flip through of Explode the Code. If you've ever used Explode the Code, let me know down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I feel like just because we like it doesn't mean you're going to like it. Every homeschool is different. Every child's need is different. But I really definitely recommend this uh, if you're looking for some extra in your, in your homeschool. But also I did speak to a couple of teachers and this is actually used sometimes in public school when it comes to kids with learning disabilities. Now you do not have to have a learning disability to use this, but I thought I would mention that just in case that you do have a child with a learning disability, maybe this would be a good curriculum for you to look into. So thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, like this video to show your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.